What's going on, Alex Rose? It's Mr. C here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve two exponential equations using the one-to-one -one property of exponential functions. So let's get started with this problem, mark problem three. We have nine to the uh, power of negative x plus 15, which I'd like to group that off in parentheses, equaling 27 to the power of x. So we have two different bases currently we have a base 9 and a base 27. Now because those two bases are not equal to each other, we can't uh, readily jump to the uh, fishing lure technique or the one-to-one um, -one property of exponential functions. Uh, remember, in order to do that, the uh, bases involved have to be the same. So the trick here is to uh, recognize that both 9 and 27 are certain powers of 3. Uh, in particular, 9 is the same as 3 squared. So what I'm going to do is write parentheses 3 squared being raised to the power of negative x plus 15 equaling, and 27 is 3 cubed, being raised to the power of x. Something that we'll need to uh, recall um, is a property of exponential um, expressions uh, in order to uh, carry us a little further. I'll do a little recall statement here. If we had a to the power of m and we raised it to another power, say n, then what we would have to do uh, in order to simplify this is multiply those two numbers together. So this would come out to be a to the m times n. So what does that mean for us? Well, what it means is that uh, we have some multiplication that we have to do still um, involving the exponents. Uh, specifically, we'd have to take 2 and multiply it to the expression negative x plus 15. So that's going to distribute. And then we also have to multiply this power of 3 to x. So here's what we're looking at after that happens. It's going to be 3 to the power of negative 2x plus 30 equaling 3 to the power of 3x. Notice that both sides are written as 3 to a specific power. In other words, both sides are using the same base now, which means that we can go ahead and form a separate equation using just the exponents. So we'll take negative 2x plus 30 and set that equal to 3x. And we'll simply solve this equation and get our answer for x. So if it were me, I, I might go ahead and subtract 3x from each side. We, we get negative 5x plus 30 equals 0. Move the 30 on over, we get negative 5x equals negative 30 yielding x equals 6 as our final answer. And this is something that can definitely uh, be plugged back into the equation uh, to get verified. So that's it for problem 3. Uh, for problem 4, uh, we'll have to utilize maybe a different uh, property of exponential expressions or different property of exponents. So I'll do another recall statement to help us out here. If we had a to the power of m times a to the power of n, uh, you might recall that what we have to do is add the exponents together, which would allow us to rewrite this using a single base a, provided that we do m plus n in its exponent. So how does it help us here in this problem? Well, if you look at the left-hand side, we have e to the 4x being multiplied to e to the x squared. So in this case, it's, it's kind of like the 4x is our m and the x squared is our n. So we can actually condense the left-hand side using a single base e, provided we add the exponents together, so 4x plus x squared. Now that's going to equal e to the 12th. And now it looks like a to the something equaling a to the something. In other words, this is in the proper format to utilize the fishing lure technique or the one-to-one -one property for exponential functions. 
So we'll go ahead and make a separate equation using just the exponents. So 4x squared, I'm sorry, 4x plus x squared equals 12. And that lands us in quadratic equation territory. Maybe move the 12 over to the left and rewrite things in standard form. So it'd be x squared plus 4x minus 12 equals 0. And it looks like this left-hand side will factor, and it factors as x plus 6 times x minus 2 equals 0. And we know to set each factor equal to 0 to solve for x, yielding two solutions to this equation, x equals negative 6 and x equals positive 2. And these are definitely something that can be plugged back into the original equation and verified. All right, uh, as always, if you have any questions for me regarding uh, the content of the video, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you guys next time.